Hi, I'm Randy Brown, your YRA year-round athlete instructor. Today's lesson is fielding slow rollers at shortstop. So there's three key ways you could do it. You have a glove hand where you're fielding the ball and you're taking your glove away. You have the two-handed where you're fielding the ball on a dead run, your two-hand with a throw. And the last one, the hardest, is the bare hand, which is coming on a slower roll, if not a stop. So there's six key points. Number one, get in an athletic ready position. Number two, your route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, how we field this particular baseball. Number five, the transition into your throw to first. And finally, number six, make a good throw to first. Hey, so let's go back to point number one, in the athletic ready position. Pitcher's on the mound, he's delivering the pitch as the ball is entering home plate. You're gonna creep step right, left, into the ready position. Knees are bent, chest over, weights on the balls of your feet, hands are close to your body. This is gonna enable you to break on the ball in a given direction once it's hit. Point number two, route and angle to the baseball. On the first play here where we're fielding the glove hand, we're gonna take an immediate route to the baseball, directly to it. Once we get closer to the baseball, we're gonna veer and approach the ball from the right side. So that's gonna get my line moving towards uh, first base. The route and angle on the two-handed where I'm feeling the ball in the run is directly at the baseball. So I'm coming straight on the baseball right there. When I barehand it, it's gonna be the exact same way. It's do or die. I'm charging the ball really hard. I'm coming directly at the baseball. And as I feel that baseball, all my momentum is going in the same line as that ball was hit. So point number three, when we talk about our footwork, okay, as I route this baseball, when I feel this ball glove hand, I'm going directly at it. I'm working to the right. As I, as I start my angle towards the, uh, first base, I'm going to plant with my right foot and I'm going to go down with my left foot to feel that baseball out in front of my left foot. So once I feel it, I can have my momentum moving towards first base. The footwork when I feel the baseball with two hands is going to be right, right, left, right. As I'm moving to the ball, right, left, right to feel that baseball. And when I go to feel the baseball with a bare hand, as I attack the ball, it's going to be left, right, left, and throw the baseball. So let's go back to point number four. How do we feel the baseball? When I'm feeling the ball glove handed, as I feel it, as I'm moving towards first base, once the ball enters my glove, my right foot is stepping over. So as I'm here and feeling that baseball, notice how when I feel it, I'm taking the glove away from me. What this is gonna do, it's gonna keep my steps in order as I get to my chest to throw off my right foot. When I'm fielding the ball with two hands, where my momentum is moving directly straight at the ball, when I go right, left, I'm fielding the ball with two hands, just like this. And then from here, as I field it, I'm bringing it straight up to my chest, and then I would go into the transition, into the throw. And finally, on the third one, where I'm feeling the ball barehanded, as I feel it, it could be slowly rolling or it can be stopped. If it's rolling, I want to make sure I pick it up this way. All right, my fingertips are on the ground if it's rolling. If the ball is stopped, I'm going to pick it up where my hand is straight over the top of the ball. So as the ball is rolling, I'm coming here right, left, and now I'm ready to make that throw. So in point number five, your transition into your throw. When I'm feeling the ball glove-handed, as I take it away here, Notice now how I get it right back to my chest. My left foot's in front, my right foot is back, and the moment I step with my left foot to, or right foot towards first base, I'm pulling out and I'm throwing. This would be just like you're throwing a ball on a, in a rundown. I'm throwing it off my right foot. When I'm fielding the ball two-handed and making my transition, all my momentum is going in the line the ball came. So as I field this ball and I'm going in, now I'm getting ready to make that throw right off my right foot. This is a really tough play. It's a do or die play, all right? And it's hard to make. That's why I prefer this. And then finally, the last one, when I barehand it, as I attack the baseball, as I field it, now it's basically the same way where I'm throwing off the right foot and my momentum is still going towards the line the ball came on. And finally, in point number six, just make a clean throw to first base. If you can, try and grab it four seams, but sometimes you're just gonna have to pick it up 
and throw it however it's in your hand. Just make a clean throw to first base. So let me give you a couple examples, beginning with uh, glove hand. So always remember to make sure your momentum is going towards first base. This next one right here, I'm going to field the ball two-handed here. As you can see, my momentum is taking me in the direction the ball was hit. And finally, last one, I'm going to barehand it. It's do or die. So remember these six points. Number one, get in an athletic ready position. Number two, your route and angle to the baseball. Number three, your footwork to field the baseball. Number four, how we field this particular baseball. Number five, the transition into your throw to first. And finally, number six, make a good throw to first. That's fielding slow rollers at shortstop, glove hand, two hands, and bare hand.